international conference celebrating Arab women, agents of change and progress. I'm Kamal Abdel Malik, professor of literature and the chief editor of the uh, Arabic uh, and World Literature Journal, uh, which is the institution that has actually organized this conference. And this conference is in honor of Nawal Saadawi. We honor by participating in this, her remarkable uh, achievements and through her, the remarkable achievements of Arab women. So ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban. I'm delighted to see the diversity of our participants who hail from different countries and um, all the way from the United Arab Emirates and Egypt to the United States and Canada and from Morocco and Tunisia to the United Kingdom and Sweden. We may be diversified by location, language, and academic discipline, but we are united by our aim to observe this year's International Women's Day and to celebrate Arab women as agents of change and progress. We present this conference in honor of Nawal Saadawi, as I said, and um, and celebrate with her her struggle in promoting the rights of Egyptian and Arab women and in exposing the various degrees of injustices that they suffer from in our uh, modern Arab societies. Okay. Over these, I have had extended dialogues with Nawal Saadawi about some of the burning issues in our society, issues related to freedom of expression, the status of Arab women, uh, war and peace, individual, the individual and the society, childhood memories, views on the West, etc. These dialogues have clearly illustrated Nawal Saadawi's views on, the, on issues such as creativity and rebellion, big issue for her, literature and social change, and the conviction that great literature is more of a guiding force in culture and society than a mere mirror reflecting uh, society's assumption and conditions. I believe that great literature is indeed a guiding force in the world. Could we imagine laws protecting the bodies of little girls in Egypt and elsewhere without the direct influence of Nawal Saadaw's writings and activism in the last half century? Women writers in the Arab world have been playing a vital role in effecting societal and cultural change. Think of the Egyptian Huda Sha'rawi, who in 1920, to be precise, 1923, removed the hijab and called for the emancipation uh, of her women folk and paved the way for legislation in behalf of Arab, of, of women's rights. Think of Duriya Shafiq in the 1960s who pushed the Nasser regime, in fact, earlier, 1956 to give women the right to vote. And Nawal Saadawi, who has been hoisting the banner of women's lib in Egypt and beyond for the last 50 years or more. So, as you can see, Nawal Saadawi belongs to a whole genealogy of women writers and activists in our Arab world. Beyond the Arab world, I must mention the Moroccan, I'm sorry, beyond, beyond Egypt, I must mention the, uh, the Moroccan feminist and academic, the late Fatima Mernisi, author of the seminal work, seminal works such as Beyond the Veil and Shahrazad Goes West, among others. Now, allow me 
to uh, to go over some points concerning our conference. The first thing I want to say to you is that the conference, as you know, is online. But those who would know me, I would not allow a word like online to pass without some commentary from literary perspective. So think about this uh, online. Think about the word line, okay? So the conference may be online, but the daring ideas in the presentations may at times be beyond the line, crossing the line, violating the red lines, between the lines, and never following the party line. Second thing I want to say is having watched Sesame Street for years with my little daughters, I wish to say to you that this conference is brought to you by the letter N, noon, which happens to be the initial of Nawal Saadawi's name, Nawal, noon, but also the marker for femininity or the feminine in Arabic. So it's a fitting choice for a letter that may make the Sesame Street makers a bit jealous, I think. Number three, all the papers today are presented in English and tomorrow we will have uh, some presented in Arabic. This bilingual character illustrates our intent to give Arabs and Westerners the opportunities and others, of course, the opportunity to discuss and interact with one another on issues related to women in the Arab world. Towards this end, we also have invited three different keynote speakers, an Egyptian, an American, and an Italian. So, it is then with great pleasure that I'd like to introduce to you the first keynote speaker, Professor Umni Amin of Zaid University in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, professor Omnia has been a professor of humanities and social sciences at Zaid University in Dubai since 2005. She taught interdisciplinary courses in comparative literature, culture and heritage, gender and women's studies. She joined New York University in Abu Dhabi as a senior humanities research fellow to conduct research on Emirati theater and the remaking of women's image. She was visiting lecturer um, in Lithuania, speaking on honor killings and violence against women. Omni Amin is also a creative writer and a literary translation or the literary translation of leading authors, including the renowned, of course, Egyptian Dr. Nawal Saadawi. She had her own page in the Jordan Times Weekender dedicated to contemporary cultural and social issues in the Arab world. She works with the cutting edge concepts of quantum physics, archetypes of mythology, the empowerment of women, and the spiritual evolution of humanity. Three years ago, Omnia was chosen by the youth in Egypt to be vice president for the Nawal Saadawi Institute for Thought and Creativity. And since then, the battle continues with authorities to register the NGO. Just want to actually comment on this and say that I, also one of the uh, members pushing for this um, center to be established, and unfortunately, it has faced many uh, difficulties in Egypt, and um, we hope that soon this will be resolved 
and the uh, center is going to be established. 